And welcome to Kentucky Bird Review. I'm Special K. I'm Still Reserve. And I'm Domingo. It's time we're making some mead. So um, we've actually went ahead and filmed it, but this is our intro. So we're making uh, three kinds of mead. They're actually mellow mel meads, which are fruit meads. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm making a blackberry mead uh, made with uh, fresh blackberries, wild, well, fresh bl wild blackberries picked down at my parents' house, some Kentucky water, some Kentucky honey, and some yeast I bought from Liquor Barn. Yeah. And what are you calling it? Uh, I'm gonna call it my Kentucky Proud Blackberry Mead. I'm uh, I am making a raspberry mead with uh, organic frozen raspberries that I got from Kroger's. Uh, some raw, unfiltered honey that I also got from Kroger's. Also organic yeast that he got from the barn. Deer Park water, and I am naming it uh, Odin's Rage. All right, well, uh, mine is a uh, orange mead uh, made with orange blossom honey. Um, organic. Simply organic, yeah, Kroger brand, um, which I got from Kroger. Oranges. Which is cheaper than the Kroger. actual, like, cheap honey. Yeah, somehow. It and was then, on uh, sale. Yeah, then uh, some lemons and raisins, which goes into it. Uh, yeast from Liquor Barn. Coriander. Coriander, cinnamon sticks. And orange. And orange. It's sort of like a, you know... You know what we're trying to do. I'm calling it uh, Luna Azul. That's that's my mean name. Um, All right, so you smart uh, people, you'll get it. Yeah, so we're gonna go to make those. If everything turns out well, we're gonna um, make another video when we're uh, we're gonna rack it. So when we drain drain it to their new jars, we'll make another video on that. It's gonna be this is gonna be like a three part video. Um, also, if all goes well, we may even send a couple of bottles out to, to people. a lucky few. To a lucky few, yep. Y'all know. Uh, and then on our final video, on our final video, so it's just a three part series, we will uh, do something comment related. So whoever leaves the best comment or something, we'll uh, maybe send them a bottle of our uh, fine, fine mead that we're we just got to make sure that they're over 21. Yeah, and there's a way to do that. So yeah. Yeah. We know the ways. But all right, let's go ahead and get started. All right, we're going to go ahead and start with my mead first. That's the uh, raspberry mead. So what I'm going to do according to uh, Special K is I'm going to add the raspberries into this pan here, pot. It's not a pan, it's a pot. With we'll some water. Let that cook a bit. Yeah. yeah. You're not going to let it boil, but you're just going to let it uh, burst open the... Uh raspberries to release those delicious delicious raspberry juices and they're also uh they're also frozen organic raspberries so we only got the organic ones because they were cheaper than the regular ones for some reason uh -huh. as you can see they're still frozen i kind of want one try one they're gonna get sanitized not bad oh, i love raspberries There, that's the first one in. And now the second bag. I'll turn on about medium heat. So about five. My notch over there. Mm. Yeah, about five right in front. Alright, uh, I forgot to grab the water. Maybe we can grab the water real quick. Deer Park one. Alright, and here in a minute, you see this other pot right here. What we're going to do is we're going to bring some water up to, you know, to heat it up some, not get it boiling or whatnot, and we're just going to use that to uh, help loosen the honey a bit. But now I'm going to add a bit more water to my raspberries. No exact amounts, it doesn't matter, it's all going back in the container, so it doesn't really matter. Yep. And we gotta make sure everything's, you know, sterilized when you're doing this stuff. So we've got some sterilized water here. Yeah, we've got some sterilizer. You can use some step one, or you can use one tablespoon of bleach per gallon, but bleach is kind of strong. Yeah. So this is, I think it's better um, to sterilize all of our equipment. We've got our Measure cups and stoppers and our bubblers and all that in there. Got our jugs over here. There's our honey. 
Um, and Steele's gonna actually make his in that plastic jug over there. We decided to experiment uh, and try a plastic jug. We have two glass ones for ours. He's gonna attempt to use that plastic one. I've seen it work fine, so. So you want me to go ahead and pour water in here? Yeah. All right. All of it? Not all of it, a right. majority of it. You might need some more for something else. Or maybe all of it, why not? I didn't think that pot was gonna be able to handle it. Then we'll just hold on to that in case we need it. I'm not gonna add it there, it's good. So yeah, we've pretty much got the water just uh, about almost an inch below the rivets here. Should probably go ahead and turn it on. Uh, what do you think, three? Five. Five. It's a lot of water. And like I said, we're not boiling this. It's key, do not boil your honey. If you boil your honey, it's gonna take away from some of those botanical flavors you get, and you do not wanna do that. We're just heating the honey up to make it more uh, viable. Alright, uh, Mingo, if you couldn't get me the spatula. Spatula. Ow, ow, ow. Very hot water. Yeah. Sterilized spatula. Mm -hmm. Sterilized spatula. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start working with the raspberries a bit. Mix them around a bit. Like I said, squish them up. Pop those droplets. I believe they're called droplets. The, the uh, little cell walls of the, uh, Raspberries? Droplets. Yeah. Uh, oh, we didn't mention, we're making gallon batches of mead. Uh, we're not going to do, typically people make three to five gallons. We're kind of experimenting here. Well, I'm also going to be adding lemon, too. Yeah. So, you know. We're experimenting here. So once we get, like, uh, the hang of it and we figure out our recipes, we'll go and make bigger batches. Radar's not here because he's a freaking loser. And he and was he's in to... Tennessee for some unknown reason. Yeah, he was supposed to be here to help us make mead, so we went ahead and did it without him. But we'll make some more matches when he gets in. Maybe a pineapple one one day. Uh, yeah, you let that simmer for a minute. It's probably good. We have uh, various ideas for different recipes. All right, I'm just going to sit on the bag. Yeah. Uh -huh. All right. And you want to go ahead and put some of that honey in that water while we're waiting? Um, let me test the temperature of the water. Here's a thermometer. Sterilized. Thank you. Like I said, we don't want to get it boiling, so as long as it's warm. It's another thing you guys are going to want. Well, at the begin and uh, at the beginning of the video, we should have already went over a list of things you'll need to make mead. Um, I'm at uh, 79. Nah, keep it going. We need like double that, don't we? Like 140. Yeah, I'm about that. That doesn't. As long as it's warm, okay. you can still go ahead and start yeah. pouring in there. It's fine. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pour into the honey. Show them what your honey you're using there. I'm using raw honey, unfiltered, simply truth organic honey. And that's honestly the only reason we got that is because it was the cheapest. Somehow, even though it's it was on sale. Yeah, um, and typically for a gallon batch, uh, you're gonna use two and a half to three pounds of honey by weight, mm -hmm. not by volume. Um, so keep that in mind. Honey is typically uh, you want to weigh your honey out, but honey ranges from 10.3 ounces. Just smell it. 10.3 ounces to like 11.3 ounces could weigh. Smell it. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it smells yeah, smell it. I know you can't, but smell it. All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and. Yes. Put some water in there and shake it, get the rest of that. That's all we need to do something. in a few minutes when all that's ready to be poured in our container. Now, you know, we've got the raspberries, you know, all nice and good to go. We're gonna go add it into the jug here. And then we're gonna add our honey water mixture. And while we're letting this cool down, we're gonna go ahead and start on uh, Mingo's. Mingo's, me next. 
should have orange blossom, it's gonna be delicious. And also once this gets down to below 100 degrees, we're gonna pitch our yeast. We're gonna pitch our yeast and add our pitch yeast to the... Yeah, what, what, what special case is? I'll let special case do that, I'm just gonna focus on pouring. That is beautiful, by the way. Oh man! All right. It looks so, like we just just set this in here, or over back. Let's uh, set it back in there. We're gonna rinse it real quick. Uh, right. This is gonna be fun. Let me go come hold the funnel. Funnel hold. Are you good, Trish K? Yeah, you're good. Whenever you're ready. Don't fill it up to the top. You want to leave breathing room? Yep. One more right there. Stop. We got some left. We'll use oh, our yeah. amigos. So you're already good to go with some honey water here. Just add a bit more. Yeah, I use the that orange blossom. Let me. Now, what you can do with this step is you can um, put it in an ice bath. Uh, we're just going to stick it in the fridge to have it cool down a little faster. So we don't want to kill that yeast. So all right, that's good and mixed now. We're going to go ahead and start on mangoes. So now we're making my mead. Um, it's sort of like a blue moon-esque thing. So we got some cinnamon sticks over here we're gonna put in it, some orange, uh, a little bit of lemon, some coriander, um, honey, but like mine is orange blossom honey, so it's gonna be even more orangey. And I'm using this Deer Park water because water. Anything else? Oh, mine's gonna be a little bit different because it's spiced, unlike the others that are just. It's still fruit. technically a fruit meat. It's a uh, it's yeah. It's a combo. It's spiced and it's a fruit meat. So. so I'm gonna add my water. I'm gonna come take a look. And let him know where he's good at. And we're doing the same so, thing we did with right, steel or like right. A little bit. Right. We can always add more water. Yeah. Yeah. We're doing the same thing we did steels. We're heating it. I don't think your stove's on either. It's not. Uh, we're adding the water just to make the honey dissolve a little better in the water. I'm pretty sure that's on five. Yep. There's not like a marker, so I don't know if that's five or zero. Just set it over to somewhere. The side. So let's go ahead and Let's crack open one of your honeys. Here. Just get it here. Yeah. Let's crack open one of your honeys. Uh, well, let me grab one of the one out of the sanitized water. It's already warmer. Mmm. I can smell, smell that. Yeah, yeah I'm, awesome. I'm ready. I'm ready to smell this. And this is also an organic honey. Yeah. It's a. Uh, that simple truth. Grade A, U.S. Grade A, free from 101 artificial preservatives of ingredients. Here you go, Steel. You get the first batch. That's a little less than a quarter, but that's fine. There's that. A quarter of lemon just to add some food for the yeast and some acidity. We also add raisins to it for also food for the yeast. You could add yeast uh, food, um, but we're cheap, so yeah. We're giving the yeast raisins. Mm -hmm. Look at these knife skills. Is that what you call it? Yeah, opposite of, well, we probably don't want this in there, huh? No. Wow, that's, that's the plan. I was gonna do sixth, and then I realized that I already made the cut to where I couldn't do that. So there we go. 
All right, and we'll come back when he is ready to. I gotta crush this coriander. His meat. He's gonna crush some coriander seed. We don't. We we lost our spice grinder, so that's probably. That's good. yeah. Maybe a little bit more. Can't be. That's probably good. So he's gonna crush it, uh, drug addict style. Yeah. You already know. Do you have like a mortar and a pestle though? No, I don't. Come on now. I thought you were like Wicca or something. All right, this is not gonna work, I don't think. To make this uh, Azul Luna, we gotta put these orange uh, orange slices in here. So we're calling your meat? Yeah, Azul Luna. Uh, he's throwing in this his, uh, might be oranges, then he's got some uh, coriander we've lightly crushed just to open uh, up the pods, the seeds. Mm. Um, and then we got just a quarter of a lemon, um, and then he's gonna put two cinnamon sticks in there. Yep. So not good. Ah! It's got orange juice in my eyeball. That's not sanitary. There's a few coriander seeds. Just shoving coriander's up in there. First, we got a cinnamon it. How many sticks do you want? Two. Two. Uh, two for sure. I'm saying. Cinnamon seven. sticks powerful. Yeah, well, I'm more powerful, so. You know this is going to be really alcoholic, so we got to. How about two and a half? Two and a half. I would eight. just do two. Most people only put one. That's why. Okay, well, two. That would be hot. Yeah, it is. Look at that nectar of the gods. Mm hmm. Oh. Did we, we get this one about perfect, didn't we? Yep, that's perfect. <laughs> Yeah. I'd add just a tad of water to it. Um, just a tad. Use the deer park there. Not too much. Oh yeah. Let me know when. That's not. Yep. All right. And then we need our raisins. Yep. And then we'll mix it all up. Yep. You actually have a pork. That yeah. There, so. It's gonna be uh, less painful for me. Than... Again, raisins are food for the yeast. Also, add a little bit of a uh, dark fruit flavor. All right, where's that cork at? The one without a hole. There we go. All right. Mm, 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 mm. It looks really good. It does, does it not? They all look great so far. But I'm excited for this blackberry one, to be honest. All right, and then we just throw it in the fridge. Yeah. All right, now we're gonna make my mead. Uh, this is going to be a blackberry mead. These blackberries came from uh, my parents' house down at Rough River. They are freshly uh, picked and they're wild. We froze them just because wild blackberries only last like uh, two or three days before they go bad. So same thing with the raspberries. We're going to pour them in a pot, heat them up to extract some of those delicious, delicious blackberry juices. Um, so we got wild Kentucky blackberries. I have Kentucky water right here. Uh, locally sourced spring water. Pour a little bit of that in here. Pour a little bit of my honey pot. The honey I have is also a uh, local honey. Not there. Nope. That's not it. That's the pure honey. It is um, Vista Kentucky honey. So nice local stuff right here. I'm going to use uh, probably close to three pounds, a little over three pounds, maybe four. Look at that. Now, this honey is a lot cloudier than what you guys were using. Yeah. It looks delicious. Look how fast it's coming out, though. Yeah, it's clean. Well, it has a water mouth, though. Help if we turn this on. Not just a little bit. Now, the blackberries, like I said, the wild blackberries, uh, they're from Rough River, Kentucky. They are, uh, falls in Rough Kentucky, technically. They are very tart um, because they're wild. They're very small. They're very good blackberries. It's kind of how I got the idea for me. Every year, 
we pick these blackberries and you know we always run out of things to do with them so why not make mead with them got my other jug same honey just a bigger bottle yep just a bigger bottle this honey was slightly on the pricey side but not the most expensive local honey um you know this 32 ounce container here was about 12 bucks but for the like the fancy local honey it was closer to like 23 for a 32 ounce so we stuck with this stuff that was a good one um and you could use tap water if you want if you're confident that your tap water doesn't have a lot of minerals in it and doesn't have any kind of uh, impurities in it but it's Honestly, best just to use some form of spring water uh, bottle, like Deer Park or uh, whatever you have available in your area. This local water was all of 10 cents more than the Kroger brand, so I was like, I'm going to go with Kentucky water. That way I can say my meat is 100% locally Kentucky sourced. So, yeah, it's my Kentucky Proud. And again, we're not going to boil this. We're just springing up to... Um, just warm enough to make the honey easier to mix. Over here I've got my bubblers, my caps, and my carboy boiling. Or sterilizing, I guess, not boiling. Now this is a much lighter color than your guys. But it's going to be, my mead's going to be dark, the darkest mead though. Oh, yeah. Their berries are darker. Right, my hot. It's not wanting to. I probably should have got more berries. Anybody, anybody want to try a wild blackberry? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I do. They're probably a little frozen. They're tiny. Look at that. It's so beautiful. Yeah, this is the actual. This is what an actual size but black bear that hasn't been injected with like steroids. They have seeds in them, but quite hard. Good though. They make a good jam. Uh, put that in some cobbler. What are you talking about? All right, we'll come back when all my stuff's ready to go. Let me make sure and our blackberries are done. Here's my wild blackberries, all cooked and squished a little bit. Not too bad, but just enough to break those. And we'll have to squish that down a little bit, which is not that big of a deal. Now these aren't going to have quite as much sugar in them as like a store bought, so that's why we're going to add a few more raisins when we go to that step. Here's my uh, honey and water mixture. You still got some more in there. That's about all I can do. And my raisins. Of the style variety. So I might add a little more to these just because, uh, like I said, the blackberries don't have quite as much sugar in them. And then I'm going to add a lemon, a quarter of a lemon. here. All right. Now we're going to let that cool down and then we'll add our yeast. All right. So now mine has cooled down to under 100 degrees. So we're going to go ahead and add my yeast. You can see here it is. Mm. So just, just 
going to have to go ahead and get all that in there. You need a spoon to scrape the rest of the stuff out with? Um, Where'd that spoon go? Do we have any more of your water, Kevin? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Now that we got the yeast in, you need to give it a little agitated. Gotta get agitated. Not wanna give it a good edge. Look at all the raspberry seeds at the bottom. Yep, that'll add tannin. You probably can't see that. And we should start seeing bubbles in the next couple hours if we did it right. Yeah. If there's no bubbles in the first day, then it puts more yeast in it. Looks pretty good to me. All right, our bubbler in. Oh, I need you to. Oh, the bottle. Yeah. Actually, you're supposed to fill your bubbler first for the water. Yeah. Uh, no. I've been drinking out. It doesn't matter, bubbler. I'll well, still, you know. Bubbler. Here, let's take. Is that too much water? No, it's good. You want to sanitize that? Yes, I do. Here, go ahead. We're obviously scientific experts at Kentucky Brew Reviews. We use the uh, scientific method all day, every day. And now we just wait. Yep. All right, we went ahead and uh, going to wrap this up. Uh, we didn't show um, Mingo or I putting our yeast in. We figured it was, it was taking. Yeah, you know, we just gonna... show one. That's you guys get it's the, the same process. Yeah, it's yes. the same process. Gordon, um, shake it up, bubbler. As I said before, um, in the beginning, we will be, um, this will be a three-part series if our, if our meat ferments, that is. Uh, and uh, at, by the end, the third episode, um, when we are bottling it, um, we, will, we will probably mention something there, but we'll probably give a bottle, a couple bottles away to our uh, fans. And if you like to see more like meat videos like this or us making various uh, booze-related uh, things, maybe Just we can... Uh, let us know down in the comments. Maybe we can make some wines at We're, time or... We're probably still going to keep doing this, whether you guys like it or not. Yeah. We might just not record it. Yeah, yeah I mean, this this, this this was actually pretty fun. It yeah. was fun. Time consuming. Time but consuming. Fun. And also, kind of expensive. Well, yeah, I mean, we're not going to make it. We're not going to make our money back on this video, oh, yeah. really. Uh, but, no. you know, it was fun, and that's what it was about because we spent $60 just in honey, probably. Yeah. Well, honey, water, and equipment, and, and fruits, and whatnot. In the, that know, was just today. Well, me and Radar bought all the, all the yeah. equipment, the plugs, and the bubblers, and yeah. all that. But we just, from what we got today. We have, we have everything like to do 60. next time, though. Yeah. Means. Except honey. And the, the ingredients. And, yeah. But we have all the equipment still. All right. Well, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm Special K. I'm Still Reserve. And I'm Domingo. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching.